there are no views at Cow Rock Mountain. However, it is Cow Rock Mountain, so we must move! It's pretty long here. We are in between Hogpen Gap and Unicoi Gap. Probably one of the prettiest hikes. It's been gradual ups and downs, which is good. It's been good on the feet and on the knee. So yeah, it's super pretty area. Sorry, it's so shaky, <laughs> me hiking. But yeah, I mean, this is like dreamy. You can tell we're on a ridge. So here it's downhill over here and here it's downhill over here and this is ridge walking. This is my favorite type of stuff, walking the ridge. And we're gonna start going up to the next one. Need my poles. We are at the view on Sheep Rock Mountain. So you know what that means. Alrighty. Today's recap is brought to you in the tent. Yes, we're in the tent. We're at Low Gap Shelter. It's very beautiful outside, mm -hmm. but there's a storm rolling in, so it's cold tonight. Once the sun kind of got in the trees, it got cold. It got chilly, and the tr tent sites weren't really level, and so we decided, being kind of rude hikers, we put up one tent in the shelter. There's still half this shelter. I mean, you could oh, fit four more people in here easily. You could fit probably six. You could fit people in here, even with our tent up. Yeah. So, and there are two other, there's three hikers, a couple and a gentleman, and they're up on the tent sites. So, but we're here. Um, trying to stay warm, which is why we're also in the same tent. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going. And that's one of the reasons why we set up the tent in the shelter is because we found that at the first shelter that we stayed at, at Woods Hole, that just sleeping in the open is really cold. Of course, it was windy that night and cold that night and rainy. And there were holes in between the wood slats. Yeah, but man i i was so cold that night and so we decided that we would set up the tent because the tent kind of acts as an insulator and will help us to stay warmer yeah so today we started at nails gap and hiked to low gap which we figure was 11 what was it 11 three three um we had one beast of a climb i mean it was like stair stepper climbs all the way up and all the way down and all the way down um, and so yeah, other than that, we had some roll, kind of rolling up the hills and rolling down the hills, rolling up the hills and rolling down the hills, which was nice. It made, made the miles go by well and yeah, I liked it. It was easy hiking. It was. It and was beautiful, um, views and things like that. It was a little chilly this morning. So we started with our jackets and then took them off and then put them back on and took them off and then took them off at lunchtime we took them off and kept them off for good until we got here and as soon as I started cooling off I had to have my jacket on I was starting to get chilled yeah. so but this it was sun was shining very few clouds in the sky the temperatures were just cooler but they were perfect for hiking yeah they were perfect for hiking so what was your favorite thing today mm, Favorite thing to date were probably like the nice roller hills from what was that gap? Uh, Hog Hogpen. Hogpen Gap. After Hogpen Gap to here, I think it was really nice. I it thought was, that was yeah. great hiking. So I think that's probably my favorite thing today. Um, it was easiest on my knee and my foot during those times. So yeah. And I found it interesting. There's a windward side of the mountains and a leeward side of the mountains. And when yes. you're on the windward side, you get. A lot of wind and breeze and mm -hmm. on the leeward side of the mountains it's nice and calm and and good hiking so we're kind of on the leeward side yeah in this shelter however 
the storm that came through a couple nights ago, they got it hit here really bad too. So I think it just hit everywhere really bad. So anyway. And tomorrow will be a rainy day, so. Yeah, we will be hiking in the rain. I'm not sure yeah. how many, how much pictures I'll get tomorrow, but. So there's a recap of day five. Woo! It's a tunnel of rhododendrons. So pretty. There. there you go. There's Nancy. There's me hiking in the rhododendron tunnels. So pretty and long. Like, we haven't oh had gosh. one this long for ever. They, I'm not this long ever. When we got to Unicoi Gap, it started to rain when we were having lunch and turned cold. So we decided to call for a hostel in Hiawassee. We headed into Lost on Purpose and met Roadhouse in Pink with the best shuttle driver, Grace. We really enjoyed our stay there. Mm -hmm.